This is our topic memory locations and addresses. Uh, a memory is organized in such a way that a memory consists of large number of semiconductor cells. Each cell can store a single bit of information. Normally, uh, basic memory operations like memory access, uh, memory storage or memory retrieval does not support to access a single cell of information at a time because a single cell stores only a single bit of information. And our memory is organized in such a way that each memory access operation can access a group of n bits at a time. This group of n bits form a memory word and this n indicate the length of that word. Okay? In modern computers, this uh, memory word length ranging from 16 bits to 64 bits. What this means? Suppose our memory system follow a word length of 16 bits. This indicates that each memory uh, store or memory retrieval operation can access 16 bits of information at a time. Is it clear? Okay. So, in order to support the basic memory uh, store or memory retrieval operation, we need to assign certain address for e different locations of the memory. Okay. So, and our memory is organized in such a way that it follows a byte addressable memory system. What is a byte? A byte means combination of 8 bits. 8 bits form a byte. Our memory follows this byte addressable uh, memory system. That means, consider this diagram. Uh, this diagram, uh, this, form, this is an 8 bit of information. This is another 8 bit. This system follows byte addressable system. So, this 8 bits form a byte and this byte need an address. And this 8 bits form another byte and this byte also need an address. And this third uh, byte need another address and so on. Okay. Then how can we represent this address? We need k bit uh, different a bit of information to represent this address before moving to that consider this uh, information suppose we have two bits how many values are possible to represent this two bits we can represent two values they are 0 and 1 ok using three bits how many values are possible we can represent 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total 8 values and this value ranging from 0 to 7 and this possible using 3 bits of information. Okay. Suppose uh, using 4 bits how many values are possible? We can represent using this 4 bit 16 different values. What are the values? 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 15 in total 16 values. Okay. This 2 different values. How can we represent this 2? We can represent this as 2 raised to 1. 3 bit using, three, uh, using this 3 bits, how many values possible? This 8. How can we represent this 8? This 8 can be represented as 2 raised to 3. Okay. Using 4 bits, we can uh, represent 16 different values. We can rewrite this 16 as 2 raised to, two raised to 4. Is it clear? Okay. And suppose we have k bits. Then how many values are possible? Total 2 raised to k different values are possible and what are the values? This values ranging from 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1. Okay, keep, keep this in mind. Then consider this uh, uh, memory representation. Each byte need an address. So, uh, suppose here we are using k bits for representing the k bits for representing the address. So, this byte have a k bit address and this byte have another uh, value and this address value which is represented using k bits and the third byte also need an address and is also represented using k bits and is and it must be different from the other address values okay so for this address space we have k bits for representing the address values. So, in our address space, how many values are possible? Total 2 raised to k values are possible and what are the values? 
the values ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to 2 raised to k minus 1. So, this is a very important uh, information. Always remember this. Each byte need an address and we can represent this address using k bit uh, address information using this k bit in our address space we can represent 2 raised to k different address values and this values are ranging from 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1. So, we can uh, in our memory system we have 2 raised to k different locations each location represent a byte ok. So, we need to remember this general information. 1 byte means 8 bits already discussed. So, 1 kilobyte equal to 2 raised to 10 bytes. 2 raised to 10 means 1024 bytes. Okay. 1 MB equal to 2 raised to 20 bytes. This 2, right, uh, 2 raised to 20 we can rewrite as 2 raised to 10 into 2 raised to 10. That means 1024 into 1024 bytes. 1 GB equal to 2 raised to 30 bytes. 2 raised to 10 into 2 raised to 10 into 2 raised to 10 or 1024 into 1024 into 1024 bytes. 1 TB terabyte equal to 2 raised to 40 bytes. 1 petabytes equal to 2 raised to 50 bytes. Okay. Remember these uh, two for solving some numerical problems. Uh, consider this statement a byte addressable memory uh, is addressed uh, using 24 bit of information byte addressable memory with 24 bit addresses then what are the values and how many values present in our address space this address space contains total 2 raised to 24 address values and what are the values the value ranging from 0 1 2 3 etc up to 2 raised to 24 minus 1 total 2 raised to 24 and uh, 2 raised to tw we can rewrite this 2 raised to 24 as 2 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 20 2 raised to 4 equal to 16 2 raised to 20 we have already discussed 2 raised to 20 means 1 MB, 1 MB into 16 total 16 MB size is available for our memory or